Hi, my name is Mickey, and uh, I'm here to show you some more uh, ways to uh, use sidechaining in Cubase 4. Obviously, this is a tutorial that is going to be shorter than other ones, but it's a very useful uh, trick that we used in uh, the broadcast industry. Voiceover ducking is something that uh, makes life easier for any radio DJ, so this is how it works. You have to trigger, instead of actually flying the fader all the time, which is really problematic if you have to do many different things, you can actually use the sidechain option. Uh, with Cubase 4 you can do many different things. You can probably produce radio commercials or any voiceover for the movie or just create your own podcasts. So you would, instead of actually controlling that fader or mixing it later, you can do everything on the fly. I'm gonna add the, the track and go to my pool and bring that music up. So uh, we're going to test it how it works like this. Hello. This voiceover recording is made for the purpose of testing this Cubase 4 V. Right, the music is colliding and I would have to actually really fly the fader on the music non-stop or both voiceover and the music. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to load a compressor from Dynamics internal compressor VSD3 version and turn on the side chain button and next thing I'm going to do is go to my send and choose a side chain option run up to the three maybe zero, depending actually how loud the pre-recorded material is. Pretty much auxiliary output to the sidechain compressor. This compressor basically is going to be triggered by this recording of voiceover and it's gonna, the music is going to duck. All right, let's go back to actually the settings on the compressor. For this voiceover ducking feature, I would go, again, attack needs to be fast, hold needs to be increased because the person doesn't talk all the time and there are pauses between but still depending how long the pause you want to adjust actually the hold time for the compressor you can put the release on auto the compression ratio doesn't have to be that big and i would put here in the live mode which pretty much makes this compressor very fast to react but still smooth it's not gonna pump threshold zero Keep the makeup now autopilot, but you can readjust that and see how it works. If it if it pumps the, the sound too much, okay, let's test it. Hello. This voiceover recording is made for the purpose of testing this Cubase 4 VO ducking tutorial. My name is Mickey, and I'm going to be your host for this tutorial. Again, this is testing VO ducking tutorial. Excellent. It really shows how well a uh, show can be produced even with Cubase 4 uh, with uh, voiceover ducking using uh, internal compression. Pretty much with the voiceover ducking, you can use third party plugins as well. But with Cubase 4, no need to do that because there's a variety of compressors with the sidechain option. That would be all for today. I'll see you next time.